Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's the start of a new week for me and it was the first day that I had to go to work after my cave exploration and wow, I have so sore muscles, especially here in my leg, like this muscle up here and also <laughs> my left um, muscle in my butt. I don't know how you call it, my right one of course, but not as bad as the left one. I also have small areas that I can feel in my arms, but of course I don't use my arms too much during work. I use my legs way more and this morning already when I had to walk down the stairs, that burns really, really much. And also walking to work was, yeah, not very nice. At work actually, I also had one moment when I was standing up from my chair and I took a step and I think I wanted to walk normally and immediately I felt that my whole leg is like wanting to collapse and I was like whoops okay no let's walk kind of weird so that you don't have too much muscle tension let's see how it works tomorrow but this definitely shows to me that it was a lot that I put myself through on Saturday but it was worth it like I really think now after a few days that I want to do this cave thing again with other friends show it to them okay but as we are talking about the health situation right now anyways today i have received two letters from the hospital in Ernst's week regarding my results from the x-rays that i have done i don't know if i said it in the last video but it was the x-ray of my hands and also of my lung to double check if my lung is good in case i will be using mtx methotrexate in the future and here's the thing now in both letters i got it says that nothing was found. So on the lung, basically it says it looks yeah very normal. And in the hands, it says that my hands do not show any rheumatic caused damages of my bones or joints. And now that's the thing. What does this mean? Do they basically tell me like, based on my hands, there is no indication that I have a psoriatic arthritis? Or does it say like just no rheumatic disease because there's a difference between arthritis and rheumatism but I still think they are kind of connected and I don't want to flip you off right now but if you look at this bone right there I don't really know if you can see it it is really really swollen compared to this one it, it is hard to show wait I have, I have I will figure it out okay I have no idea if that is working out but if you compare these two that's the right one that's the left one this one is way more swollen here it doesn't show any damages does it just mean it's swollen and that they are that it basically is revertible so if the swollen area disappears is it normal then again does this does the x-ray result tell me that i still have functional fingers and things or what is the result about because if it is not a rheumatism or a rheumatic um, disease what is it then that's the thing that i could like ask myself do i have a wrong diagnosis or is the doctor maybe just not capable of seeing things or the x-ray or whatsoever there's a lot of interpretation that i can put into this few words that i really don't know what it's supposed to mean because this finger really is swollen i can see it clearly without even feeling it but i guess because the x-ray focuses on the bones it tells me that the bone is fine so that is what i tell myself and that i accept because it's a good news but the thought about having a false diagnosis it's not a good one i will not think about that too much but that is what i was thinking when i have read that today after work and that is it for today nothing crazy has happened i have booked my train for umeo now which is going to be on wednesday so when this video is coming out actually yeah let's hope that i have picked up my car when this video is coming out i hope you had a wonderful one see you in tomorrow's video probably i will be nervous when everything goes right about picking up my car especially regarding if it's going to be delayed again but until then see you later bye bye